Hey everyone, Peter Zion coming to you from Palm Beach where yesterday, less than 20 miles from here, a hurricane made landfall and as you can see, everything is fine. So I figured this was a great time to talk about hurricanes, what they do, how to avoid them, well, how to prevent yourself from being overly smashed uh, and all the like. Um, hurricanes are cyclonic storms that form over warm water and draw their water from warm water. So the Gulf of Mexico is the world's premier hurricane generation zone. Uh, the damage kind of comes in three waves. First, the hurricane pushes with its big winds, uh, water ahead of it and forms a storm surge. And as a rule, that is the most devastating part of the storm. You also get winds from you know upwards of 120 miles an hour if you got a really bad storm. And then of course, huge amounts of rain. Uh, whether or not this is gonna hurt you depends upon where you are. The closer the coast, the more a problem it is. But the best way to find out if you're in a dangerous path is to go to weather underground slash hurricanes and look at the storm track. And then tilt your head until the storm track is straight up and down. And then the front right quadrant, the leading right quadrant, that's where the storm surge is going to be. That's where the winds will be the strongest. That's where there's going to be the most rain. But if you're in the leading left quadrant, basically there's nothing going on there. So think of it kind of like a merry-go-round with a bunch of kids. And if the kids start flying off, it's only the ones in the leading right quadrant that are gonna hit you. The rest are just gonna go over there or back out to sea, and it's no big deal for anyone but the kids. So in this case, West Palm didn't get hit at all. In fact, it was sunny for most of the day, and then the next day it looks like this whereas the leading right quadrant is where all the damage was done. All right, what storms are gonna be doing in the future is a big unknown, and unfortunately, it's a $100 billion question. So we know with climate change that we're gonna have more moisture in the atmosphere because heat can, or hot air can hold more water. The problem is we don't know what that's going to do, the storm size or the winds. So if, for example, we get more super storms like, say, Hurricane Rita, then that would be really bad. You know, class four, class five storms that can cause a huge amount of damage over a huge amount of area. Alternatively, we might get fewer storms that are more intense, that actually generate more damage, but in a more limited scope. Or we could go the direction of Hurricane Harvey, which hit Houston a few years ago, which was only a class one. Uh, the winds weren't that bad, the storm surge wasn't that bad, but then it just parked over Houston for three days and dropped over five feet of rain and it took the city over a year to recover. We just don't know. But the best bet, when the storm's coming in, stay off the coast, look at weather underground slash hurricanes and stay out of that leading right quadrant. Good rule of thumb is if you're on the east coast and the storm's coming in and it might hit you, don't necessarily go inland, go south get into that leading left quadrant okay that's it for me until next time